Phew, we're already in February. Time flies when you're having fun in the cloud. And boy, are we having fun. A bit more trivia for you. Did you know that Azure is available in 140 countries with 54 regions worldwide? Hmm, you're welcome. This time on the show, Azure Security Center makes it easier being compliant with regulatory constraints. Open API specification version three support in Azure API management now in preview. And the team from a cloud guru will be at the Ignite tour in Sydney. So sit back, bring out the popcorn and enjoy. Although I know that Jeffrey falls asleep when I mention regulatory constraints or compliance obligations, it is a critical part of running a smooth cloud operation and infrastructure. Being compliant with regulatory frameworks is not an option, but a firm requirement. However, knowing which rules to comply with and how to test if you are, and what to do if you aren't, is hard. Azure Security Center now helps streamline this process with the new regulatory compliance dashboard, which is in public preview. For the preview, the supported standards are Azure CIS, PCI DSS 3.2, ISO 27001 and SOCTCP. In the dashboard, you'll find your overall compliance score. We know we all want some number to measure, right? And the number of passing versus failing assessments with each standard. The regulatory compliance dashboard is designed to help you improve your compliance posture by resolving recommendations directly within the dashboard. Simply click on a recommendation to go straight to the offending resource and fix the issue. You can try it for free for 30 days and is part of the pricing for Azure Security Center. You can also get a helping hand setting it up using the tutorial in the link below. Open API is a much used standard for describing REST APIs on the interwebs. The latest version is version three and Azure API management now supports this. This is the continuing commitment from all Azure teams to follow open standards where appropriate and keeping the services as transparent and useful as possible. If you already have an open API specification for V3, you can easily import it into Azure API management using the Azure portal. In fact, it will recognize any version you're using when you import it. And yes, you can also export your API definitions just as easily. So how do you get started, you ask? Well, there is of course a tutorial for this, which you can find below as well. If you didn't make it to Microsoft Ignite in Orlando in September, the Ignite Roadshow is the next best thing. Coming to a bunch of cities around the world, the tour showcases the best features and products that was announced back in September. It is a great way to get first-hand knowledge of anything Microsoft, including, of course, Azure. On 13 and 14 of February, the tour comes to Sydney and the ACG team will be there to meet everyone, answer your questions about cloud training and get your input on what you want to see more of in the Azure space for training. I will be recording Azure this week from there as well and it will be a chance for you to see how the show is made from hopes and dreams. What are you waiting for then? Register for free now. Go here, go to the link. And we're once more at the end of Azure news for this week. I've been told to get back to creating more course content for all of you, so that is exactly what I'll be doing in about 36 seconds. This time I covered Azure Security Center makes it easier being compliant with regulatory constraints using the Azure Security Center. Open API specification version three support in Azure API management now in preview, and you can use the Azure portal to easily import and export your definitions. And the team from a cloud guru will be at the Ignite tour in Sydney. Come say hi and pat the roaming virtual ACG puppies. I will see you again in exactly 10,074 minutes. Keep being awesome cloud gurus.